So in this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to create a YouTube profile picture. Once you've finished watching, you're gonna be able to create these yourselves, first of all, for free, and second of all, in less than a couple of minutes. It's ridiculously easy, and I'm gonna show you exactly how now. So first up, we're gonna jump into Canva. Now, Canva is my go-to graphic design application. It's got absolutely tons of features in there, and the best of all is there's actually tons that's accessible for free as well. So I've got a paid account, but I'm gonna show you how to do anything for free as well. First thing we need to do is find a template. Now, if you wish, you can just create a design and use anything that has got a square ratio. So like an Instagram post, for example. But if we just click on the top here and let's type in, in fact, it's already in my history, YouTube channel profile logo. Let's go with that. What that's going to do is that's going to show you some of the stuff I've created, but then it's going to give you these templates. You can see there, there's over 20,000 of these templates. So we're looking for these square ones. Now, if you wished, it's ridiculously easy just to click on one of these templates and just change the words, add your picture, do whatever you want to do to make it look like yours. Let's take this one as an example. So now we've opened this template. Let's say you wanted the fastest possible way to do this. And let's say you just wanted text or an image. You can just click and delete any of these components. On the left hand side, you've got a text button. And I'll just type my name in. You can type, type into that text button. You can drag it and expand it. You can change the color using this top menu. You can change the font type. You can change the size. It's entirely up to you what you wish to do. We can delete that. We go to elements. Let's just say we want some form of logo. If we just put man with glasses and then we're going to look at these graphics. Let's go with, um, let's go with that one. Let's pretend that mimics my mustache. So, this is if you just want like a basic um, text and image logo. And we're gonna click on this little glasses here and uh, we're gonna change the color because you can barely see that. And there you go. It's pretty rubbish, but I just wanted to show you how you can use these elements and text on the side to create any logo that you want. It was already within a circle on that template. So if you export that and import it into YouTube, then that will work perfectly. And what it'll do is it will use the circular part as well. So ignore this orange. Now, I want to show you how to do this from scratch. I don't want you to have any templates. I want you to have the ability to just create your YouTube profile picture from scratch. So let's delete all this. So again, we want this square format ratio. So we've got the square. Now, the way I do this is I use a circular frame because remember, whenever you put anything into YouTube for a profile picture, it always puts like a circular mask on it. So we want a frame. Now I'm just gonna type frame in on this elements tab and I'm gonna change that back to all. Frames are like a photo frame. So I'm gonna click on see all and I'm gonna choose this circular one. Now, if you put frame and circle or frame and round, you'll get different options. Some of them have got different um, kind of borders already built in. But I'm just gonna use this one just for simplicity. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this by clicking and then holding the mouse and just moving it up to the corner. And then in this bottom right-hand corner, I'm gonna click when I get the two arrows and I'm just gonna drag that out so it kind of fills that square just to make sure we're maximizing this space because anything that's in white there is kind of irrelevant really. Now I'm gonna click on the white bit because we're gonna put a background color in. A Couple of ways you can do this. You can click on that background, then you can click on this color wheel here and you can add any of these colors. You've got some gradients like that, for example, or you've got some solid colors. Now I'm just gonna put that yellow one in. Another way you could do that is if you click on photos, if you actually search for background, if you want different kinds of like textures, patterns and uh, gradients, you can actually use these as well. So I've just clicked on this picture here, which is like a yellowy orange, and I'm just gonna drag it into that corner, maximize it, and then right click, replace background. And you can see there that that photo is now the background image. Now I'm gonna just get rid of that because I don't actually want that. I wanna yellow one because I want to do it exactly as I put on the thumbnail for this video. So now we've got a yellow background and we've got a big circle in the middle, which is a photo frame. Now I'm just going to go to upload. Now, if you've got a photo of yourself, just click on upload file, choose that file, and then it will appear in here. Now I've already uploaded loads of pictures before because I use camera all the time. So I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to use this one of my mugshot. Pretty rubbish picture with really poor lighting. You can see you've got light at the top there and it's all orange in the background, but we're going to sort that out. That's not a problem. 
first of all, you'll notice that the lettering, because when you take a lot of pictures, you, the uh, the camera on your phone tends to flip the image. So if you want to flip that back, if you click on the picture, click on flip, flip horizontal, and there you go. You can read the letters now, so you know it's the right way around. We kind of look at ourselves in different angles, so it depends what you actually prefer. The next thing I'm going to do is if I kind of click and hold it to move it, when you drop a picture on top of a frame, it adds the picture into the frame. So you can see now it's added that picture in and it's put this circular mask. Now it's not kind of shaped right. It doesn't look quite right, but don't worry about that. We're going to sort that now. Now I'm going to remove the background. I want this wardrobe and picture frame. I want and that chair. I want that all removing. Now, if you see at the top here where it says BG remover, that little crown symbol means it's a paid option. So if you do not want to pay for Canva, don't worry. What you can do is take your image, go to a website like this, remove BG, upload your image into there and it will automatically remove the background. If you've got a modern smartphone, then generally you can remove the background within that phone itself. The, the, most things are adding this as a kind of standard feature. So I'm not sure why Canva insists on making it paid. Um, but yeah, really useful little feature. Like I say, I've got a paid account, so I'm just going to click that button and it'll do it all for me. That takes the mess out of that background. The next thing I'm going to do is reposition this slightly. So I'm just going to double click and that will go into the image if you like. And I'm going to click and just reposition it. So I'm going to drag it down slightly and then I'm going to go to the bottom corner and I'm going to expand it just to make that beautiful face a little bit bigger. And I think I'm going to go with that. So now I'm just going to click on done. There you go. So it's one big picture of my face. Now, if you remember, this was a circular frame. So again, whilst this is selected, if we click on it, at the top here, you've got a couple of things. We want this border style. Now, I'm just going to put this solid line in. And you see we get this black line. I'm going to change the weight, which is the thickness. And I'm going to go with that. So then we want to also change the color. So I'm just going to click on this border color here. And then on the left hand side, I'm going to click on white. And there you go. So there's a few more things that we can do with this because it still doesn't look quite right. So whilst this is still selected, I'm also going to click on edit. The first thing I'm going to do is add a shadow. So I'm going to go to effects on the side and click on shadow. Now you can add a drop shadow or if you want to do um, one of them outlines that people have, you can actually add an outline here where it puts an outline all the way around. Now the way I would do that is I would reduce this size. I would reduce that blur amount and I would increase that intensity, then maybe increase the size a little bit. And do you see how it puts that outline around it? Now, I'll be honest, I don't like that. So I'm just gonna go for a drop shadow. I'm gonna change the angle because I want it on the other side. I'm gonna change the blur amount. I'm gonna change the distance to reduce it quite a bit. So it's a little bit more subtle. And I'm gonna go with that, it's more subtle. If we go back to this adjust field, which again, if you remember, we clicked on this, we clicked on edit, and then you've got adjust. This is where we can change the picture itself. So depending on how you've took that picture, if you want to change the uh, temperature, brightness, contrast, I like going for kind of high contrast stuff. So I'm just going to increase the, the contrast, increase shadows, increase whites, increase blacks. And there you can see it's quite high contrast. I think it works because I've got dark glasses. Now I want that to be black and white as well. So we could just use that, but if you want it to be black and white, take that saturation right down and that removes all the color out of it. And then if we want, we can increase these a little bit more. And again, just look at, make it look kind of pretty bold. And if you scroll down further, you've got sharpness and clarity. So let's add some clarity as well and some sharpness and it just kind of draws out the detail a little bit maybe not too much sharpness so i'm going to go with that but again if you want a color picture that's absolutely fine you don't need to decrease the saturation you can just play around with these settings if you need to reset anything you've got this button at the bottom now i'm just going to go back and again i'm going to resize this slightly so i'm going to double click on the image i'm going to drag it up a little bit and I'm going to go with that actually. So there you go. That took longer because I was talking you through it, but it's really easy. You remove the background, you add a frame, you put a border to your frame and you add your image in and then adjust your image. There's loads of different options that you can do. Like say, if you don't want to use one of your face, you can add text, you can add elements, but it's a really simple process. Once we're done, we're just going to go to share, download, 
PNG. And I'm just going to press download on that. And then I'll show you exactly where to update this in YouTube as well. Once you're on YouTube, you can see here, you've got this customized channel button. So I'm just going to press customize channel. Then you're going to get this picture. So to update the, for the one that we've just downloaded, we just click on change. And we just select the one that we've just updated, click open. Now, can you see this blue line here? So this is showing exactly how it's going to mask it. So if we set that as it is now, you're going to have a white circle with a little bit of yellow on the outside. So you might want to just pinch this in slightly in the corners so that we don't see any of that outside background color. It's up to you. Maybe you prefer the background color, but then once you pinch in a little bit, you can kind of click and move it and easily kind of um, get it exactly as you want it, which that one looks almost perfect. This is where my OCD kicks in. I'm just going to go with that. Press done. There you go. If you look at that picture, all you need to do is press publish and you will have updated the profile picture on your channel. If you want some more tutorials that are just as easy as this, that are going to help you with your YouTube channel, then watch the video coming up next and subscribe for more.